This is the creme de la creme, the final of the men's regu, and the two top nations in the world will be competing. We are the Palembang Sport and Convention Centre, the PSCC. It's a terrific venue, and this is the climax of what has been a very, very competitive four days worth of the Sepakta Tour. I'm Des Cordial alongside me in the commentary box for this final, which many people expect Thailand just to dominate, but Malaysia have got their own thoughts on things. It's John Burgess. John, your thoughts. Thanks a lot, Bears. Well, we can see the graphics coming up and see how well Malaysia and Thailand have performed together. That's the semi-final result. 3-0 over Korea for Malaysia and Thailand over Indonesia by the same score. You are right in saying that they are the top, top two teams by reputation. It's quite strange, really. They both claim that they, they were the origins of the sport uh, several hundred years before as well. Back in the 16th century, Sabatka Claw was brought to... Whoa, dear, we've just lost a computer. <laughs> it's really quite uh, desperately uh, dangerous around here as we get hit in the warm-up at the moment. But uh, definitely uh, Thailand, as clear favourites, they have been absolutely dominant in the sport for so long. And you, you will very shortly understand why. Because they have a team of acrobats, gymnasts, martial art exponents, soccer players, you call it whatever, volley exponents. Whatever, whatever you need to play this game, these guys have got somebody which is absolutely the top of the tree in terms of the exponent. They are sensational. Malaysia, you can see, they only lost one set. That was against Indonesia in the run into this one. And they have been very, very much improved. They were so disappointing against, uh, or against the, the Southeast Asian nations in the Southeast Asian um, games in, in back in Palambang, that was uh, just a two and a half months ago. They've come here with a renewed vigour, a renewed approach, and uh, I must say their star, star player, Norshal Rodin, Bin Mahmoud Ghani, has been absolutely sensational. This is how Thailand got uh, through to this stage. They are undefeated in terms of sets as well as matches, so they are without question hugely confident and you know Des I was at breakfast today and I had a look uh, across the room to see that the whole of the Thai delegation was there in very very close chat both the men's and the women's coaches and team managers uh, and General Chal Rook was there and uh, everyone Bun Chai is the treasurer of his staff of course as well they were all discussing how they could actually provide opportunities for everyone else in the world of Sabatta Kral to reach the standard of Thailand in order to give them more competition. And they were talking about opening up schools in Thailand in order to do that. So they have got the confidence. They've already been there so many times and there's no doubt at all. Porn Chai there was actually the, the feeder, but he is a great exponent. We've got some uh, brief, brief recaps of, uh, of some action here, you can see Thailand versus Singapore, but it's going to be a fascinating battle. I've absolutely no doubt, if you've never seen this before, you are going to be blown apart by the excitement of what's ahead of us. We will let the stadium announcer introduce to the VIPs all the players in this gold medal match. Now they come to the Thai side, of course, and, uh, well, it's just, there's not a fault. There is not a fault in that team, I can tell you. They will put, they will put balls into the air and deliver the strikes that will be quite sensational. Do you have any news of the actual team lineup for the start list, Des? Yes, indeed we do. For Thailand, uh, Yuppity, of course, will start. He's the man who does all the fetching and the carrying. The starting striker will be Paul Chai, who's 31 years of age now, but he's 
certainly as explosive as he has or ever was. The starting uh, Tukong will be Siluan Saka. As for Malaysia, well, they have changed their team dramatically since the Sea Games disaster. And they have a, a new Tukong in Fasli Azri, Musha Rudin and Farhan Adan. But I'll let the announcer take over once again for the official team. Sorry, we didn't battle against the stadium announcer. I don't think there was at much point in doing that, but uh, certainly our excitement is here. One, one little thing that I would like to point out here, both the teams wearing yellow. Now, it's a very important uh, color that for, for both nations. Malaysia, certainly, it's, it's one of the Sultan's colors and the King's colors, isn't it? And also, I think it's for Thailand as well. So although it's very unusual for both teams, both squads, to be wearing the yellow, strip and it might be a little bit confusing to watch at home I think there will be certainly some little things that you can tell and certainly if you're looking at the bats you'll be able to tell which is which but uh, we'll try and help you where we can both teams in that yellow uh, that lad number seven there is going to be crucial to uh, everything that is going on around here now shall roll in I've no doubt at all but uh, well you won't be able to miss Ponchai he will be something special. Sakal, number two, with his back to camera at the moment. He's the Tekong. He'll be involved in the serve. Yopadi, the captain, number three. And there's Bornchai on the right, number five. They really do concentrate. They have a little word. And uh, I must say, they are the consummate professionals. But Malaysia have got a lot to prove. I know that you are now resident of Malaysia. You know a lot about them, Des. And they have they've come under the cosh from the press and from the media for a few months now, can they actually now redeem themselves with a performance against Thailand? Well, they have indeed come under the cost. The press are, were very, very vitriolic almost in their reaction to the failure to make even a semi-final in the last Super Series event that took place in Thailand when this group of Thais went on and won the gold medal. Malaysia were left scrambling not even for the bronze medal. Since then, they also had a pretty nightmarish experience in the Sea Games. They've changed the Tekong. They've recalled Farhan, who's in shot at the moment. So Farhan's the fetch in the carrier, the feeder. The Tekongs are more reliable. Norsha Rudin's the constant because he is dynamite. Not quite a pawn child, but not far off it. Now, if Malaysia can show aggression, there is a chance. We've already seen in the women's final that if you go with the right attitude, you can upset Thailand. The women over the men have, have very Accuracy from the take-on, the server, and then a big battle at the net between Norshel Rudin. There you can see on the right and Pornchai. They have got to do battle here. Norshel Rudin oh. wins that it's out, but I think he got the touch, didn't he? They might have. He yeah, did, yeah, yeah. Well off. done. Well spotted. Well spotted. Well, it's all going to happen pretty quickly, let me tell you. But well, that's a good first blood to Malaysia. Michael to get a good strong start. Siduat Saka. To the net of Malaysia have a 2-0 lead. Again, 
confidence. They, they can all play. They've all got the skills. Timing of using those skills is another thing. But confidence and the mental strength is where this match is going to be one of those. Siroat goes long. Wow. Mm. That's the start they wanted. I know there was a determination talking to the guys last night. There was a, a steely determination which was absent in the sea games. They came into such stick in the press after their recent performances. Well, I mean, you know, it's not many decades ago that they were absolutely at the top of the tree. Malaysia were in Thailand's position of today. They they have a fantastic reputation. Oh, what a spin start. That's terrific. And it's the change of the Tekons that has changed the fortunes of this Malaysian regu. That's wonderful skill. It is. Superb. What a great first service. He's done him again. Well, I might have let that go, but no Sharudin. Well, the top's a little bit. I wonder if that was going out Definitely. Wrong. Definitely. He, oh, he was looking up from there. Well, he didn't want to risk it. And I guess you could say, okay, we're not playing the game. You're right there. But despite the fact that that went out, it's still no shell And there's such great technical exponents. Perfect, perfect shot in terms of the movement onto that long spike. Fault was that? Uh, I think it might have been. I don't think it was the ball toss. You can get pulled up for a variation of ball toss, but I got a feeling that was a foot fault. Maybe just crept forward onto the circle line. You're not allowed to lift your foot out of it or onto that line. The circle line is a third of a meter in diameter. Siruat short, Farhan read it. No Sharudin off bone tie for the point for Malaysia. Well, we knew this would be the battle zone. Bone Chai will have a lot to say when he gets a chance to do his roll spikes, but this is very, very impressive from No Sharudin. This is what they love. They live for these moments. And look at the afters. <laughs> does funny things. The perfect group to this final. Four three love wins in the group. Three love win in the semi-final. Thailand up. This will be the biggest test that they have. Mohamed Fadil there was really, really upset. He just he dropped back off the circle a little bit. When you receive, as a take-on, that num it's a number five, it's just behind there on the left. He he just dropped back off it, and he, if he'd stayed, kept his ground, he would have got that ball up. It's just such fine, fine differences, millimetres, will make a difference. Fadil Ajri has a chance. The take-on. Time and under pressure. It's the big smiles, though, particularly from Kwon Chai and from Saka as well. They all love the sport so much, and it's uh, there you go, it comes from this side as well. Malaysian Tigers looking to roar once again. Yeah. The Tigers have stripes just on one side of their body. Yupadi, Horn Chai. You might have noticed he's a lefty. It's, it really is poetry in motion. It's the most wonderful, wonderful 
dispatch of that ball and he always lands safely. Rusha Rudin to feed. Another fault. Wow. It's two oh. foot faults against yeah. Bad Hill. Is that just the eagerness? Yeah. I would say so, yeah, for sure. And we're going to have the captain fire finding out what the issue is. This is danger time for Malaysia. They dare not. Let that distract them and drop off the pace. They've been very competitive. Farhan's rescue. Moshe Rudin's header into space. That was really clever, Des, wasn't it? That was superb because he knew Wan Chai was gathering there like a real cloud over the top of the, the sky and he just decided, OK, I don't have to play this with my feet. There you go. Great work. Like a salmon up into the top corner. That was good footwork from Fadil. Nearly rescued a super serve. That's his job. That's his job to receive the serve. It was, it was, as you say, very, very close, but it was a hugely powerful drive. Well, this is shaping up well. It's the last match of the tournament. It's seven all. Gold at the end of the, the rainbow here. Off the net and in. Thailand out the slenderest of leads. Thailand's women have already won gold. In the women's regu, they were made to battle ever so hard. Great match. They've got to play at the absolute top of their game here. Oh, yeah. The uh, Paul Chai's header knocks it out. It's a sensational serve. Look at the power here. He almost knocked himself off his feet as he was attempting to whack that one at Born Chai. It was a beautiful service. It's a very young Malaysian team. Yeah. Rosha Rudin, the feeder, is 24. Basri is 22. Barham is 23. It's great. That's what we like to see in sport. The youngsters coming through. Malaysians will be delighted with their performance at the minute. Yupadi, Ponchai. Eases it into the corner. You don't give him half a, a yard like that into the centre. He's got lots of options. That's a spectacular bit, but it's Yuppity who does all yeah, the setting. Oh, absolutely. Number absolutely. Three. No, he's sensational. He's sensational. He never puts a foot wrong. In fact, I don't, I've looked at a lot of stats, and I don't recall him missing a set. Setting play, that is. There is Yuppity to Pornjai. Good block. Yuppity again. If at first you don't succeed. That's a lot of meat to throw up in the air like that, isn't it? Born Chai, he gratefully accepts the gift from Yuppity, but look at that. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that no Sharudin can do. Ten minutes they've been on court. 18 points played. It's a privilege, though, to watch this. I hope you're enjoying it at home because this is the absolute top of the mountain of support patrol playing. Mosharudin proves the point. The setup was from Farhan. There's 
a self belief about this Malaysia team. There is. Great to see. Fabulous. But, you know, I've got a feeling there's a bit of spin on this. Yeah, he got the soul of the foot on that as well. Unbelievable. Set the standards to Thailand, so a timeout has been called. Malaysia, well, they were really in the contest, and as you see, Jamaludin saying, You need to raise the game, guys. Yeah, but there's not much you can do against serving like that. If the guy's accurate, he missed a couple. That was they took a 3 0 lead because he was not accurate in the opening. Now he's got the measure of things, and he's into the zone. But it's a different story. Huh? Come on, we'll be really pleased with what's going on at the minute. He knows he's got a team of absolute champions there. It's like having thoroughbred racehorses, Des. You know, when you see one, they might uh, they might fool you a little bit in practice and so on, but when it comes to the race itself, they absolutely love to go out in front. Look at that guy. Chai Chin is sensational. He's a wonderful player, but he's not in the same league as this guy. I don't believe that. has been up the top of the tree for a long, long time now. <coughs> but, as you so rightly say, Moshe Rudin and his gang, uh, you know, are young and they will definitely have their day. It's a young Malaysia, yeah. a more experienced. Moshe is 31. Yeah, so that's a little bit young. Look at these 27. Big feed, big serve coming up. If Malaysia are to get something from this first set. Chai. Such awareness of where the opposition were, where the ball is, where the space is. It looks as if he's taking the mickey, doesn't it, when he plays a shot like that, right between a trio that are so close. I can't believe he can do that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It was off the heel, you know, it wasn't even off the, uh, the toe. Set point to Thailand. Oh. 